Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we'll be talking about Mark Tatum, the vice commissioner, basically, like second in command in the NBA, has reiterated statements that we've heard all year that Mexico City's in consideration for NBA expansion. As you guys know, the NBA is going to expand. It is going to expand. We've been reporting for the last year that the NBA, since they lost about $2 billion due to the pandemic, that they are planning to expand because if they expand two franchises, that's almost $7 billion they can receive, which will put the, which will cover all the money they had lost in the last five years due to the pandemic and other things that they had to foresee. So let's talk about it and what is going on. So if you guys do like reporting like this, I try to report as much news regarding every facet of the NBA, 150 videos a month. And let's talk about it. And the reason why this is being out, shout out Doug Greenberg of Front Office Sports for this information. And Mark Stein's been a big guy who's been following this. But the NBA is set to return to Mexico City. Also, before we continue, let me know what you guys think of me having my videos like this now. It's a little bit different than we have done things in the past, but I want to hear your thoughts. Now, the NBA is set to return to Mexico City on Saturday night. San Antonio Spurs and the Miami Heat will play in Mexico as part of the NBA's international series. Part of the appeal of staging games in Mexico is to continue to grow the game of basketball in the country. Basketball is now the second most played sport in Mexico behind association football, a.k.a. soccer. As the sport continues to grow, there's a chance Mexico City eventually could have an NBA franchise of their own. In a previous video I made, I told you guys that there is already an NBA qualified stadium in which the Mexico City Capitans of the Capitans of the G League are already playing in is a arena that could fit. So an NBA team. While saying expansion isn't in the NBA's immediate plans, NBA De Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum said Mexico City has to be in consideration when the league does expand. The league Silver and Tatum have both been very coy about NBA franchise expansion. As we guys know, the Seattle Supersonics are a guaranteed 31st franchise. The 32nd franchise right now is arguably in a race between Las Vegas, Mexico City, and then the third dark horse is probably Kansas City for an NBA team. And a fourth option would be Louisville. Those are the four teams that I've discussed with people that are four cities that could potentially host the city a, a NBA team with the first three. Seattle's a guarantee. Vegas is almost a guarantee with Mexico's city rising. Mexico could replace Las Vegas. As we know, the NBA has had problems in Las Vegas when they held the All-Star game there. But the NBA G League launched the Mexico, Mexico City Capitans last season. COVID-19 restrictions kept the Capitans from making their debut in their home city until this season. But the NBA has a chance to see how Mexico City can operate as a professional basketball city. Quote, G League teams in the United States and Canada are going down there to play. So we're getting experience of how does a G League team operate in that market? How are fans respond to having their own team down there? It's been a great learning experience so far, end quote, said Tatum. So I think time will only tell what ends up happening here. And for me, I think, look, look at basketball you know i'm playing right here the best plays of what's been happening and for what's going on i think it's definitely interesting to see so i want to hear your guys' thoughts down below do you guys agree with me that i think we need to go out and get this team rolling i think mexico city would be really cool i'm all for international basketball i've also thought montreal would be a really cool place to have a team now, do I, is that going to be the exact place? I don't know. But with more information coming out every day, we'll learn more and more and more. But there's a reason why basketball is arguably the second biggest sport in the world. I know some people are going to argue about table tennis and stuff. Look, the, the second biggest sport played, like professionally and all that, it goes soccer, then it goes basketball, and then it goes Probably, fuck. After that, cricket, maybe? Right? <laughs> Who the fuck is... <laughs> My mom's boyfriend came in, and I had to say what's up. I hadn't seen him, really, so was just saying what's up there. But, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you want to see expansion in Mexico City? If so... Let me hear why. If not, what cities would you want to hear be the next NBA expansion? 
city. I didn't know how to end that right there, but again, guys, I love every single one of you. And we're gonna get out of here right about now. So, top of the morning to ya. Goodbye, everybody.